Today, I'm gonna to teach you how you can laser cut out objects on a CS180 uh, Mercury laser cutter. I'm gonna show you how you can make pieces like this super easy today. I'm Broker Pratt. I've been teaching students how to use laser cutters for years now, so hopefully this can help you get up and started. This tutorial is for absolute beginners, uh, and it assumes you've already got a design ready, but not formatted correctly in Adobe Illustrator. I'm gonna show you how you can set up your documents in Adobe Illustrator, send them over to a laser cutter, set up your pen settings properly so you get the proper power, and then how you can actually cut your designs to make sure that they come out nice and crisp. So for this laser cutter, everything starts in Adobe Illustrator and using SVG files. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new file. And the file I'm gonna choose is the size of my laser cutter board. For me, on the smaller laser cutter that we have, it's 41 centimeters wide by 30 centimeters tall. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in centimeters here, change my units if I'm on points, and select, oh, I'm gonna choose a color mode of RGB color because CYMK is not going to work for the laser cutter. So I'm going to say it's create. Now I can either do my design in Illustrator or I can import an SVG file that I created in Fusion. So I'm gonna go Command Shift P to be able to open up place, or I can come up to file, and then choose place. And then here I'm going to go ahead and find that SGB file. In my case, it's the vector logo.svg. I'm going to go ahead and place this in. Any object that's pure black is going to get scanned in, which means it's going to make an outline of it rather than cutting straight through. Now, if you want to cut straight through, you need to make a pure red object. So I'm going to go ahead and select ellipse tool. Go ahead and punch this ellipse in. I'm going to make a six centimeter by six centimeter ellipse. Set it fills all the way around. We'll go ahead and move it over our size of our Dutch bin logo here. And uh, we're gonna make the fill transparent. That's a little red slash. And we're gonna make the stroke pure red. So over here on my color panel, I'm gonna go ahead and double click on the stroke. And we're gonna make an RGB value of 255, green of zero and blue of zero, or a hex decimal code of FF0000. The way that this laser cutter works is choosing specific color codes tells the laser what to do. So red tells it to cut straight through, black tells it to scan through a specific power, green tells it to scan through in a different power, so you can have different gradients and things and so on. Now, in order for this to actually cut out, I need to change the stroke width. So I'm gonna say this is 0, 0,001, and then press return. It's gonna make it really, really skinny, and that's gonna tell the laser that this is a cut through piece as well. Depending on what region your computer set up in, it might be 0, 0,001 if you're in Europe, it might be 0 period 001. Now I've got my design, I'm gonna go ahead and move it up to the top left hand corner so I don't end up wasting anything. And we'll go ahead and save this to our external drive. So I'm gonna go to file, I'm gonna choose save. Here I'm gonna select my external drive, I'm gonna give it a title. We're gonna call this one the Dutchman underscore logo. And we're gonna click save. You can save it as an Illustrator 2020 file. All these check marks are fine. You don't have to worry about changing any of these settings. Select OK. And then the last thing you have to make sure you do is make sure you eject your drives. You can either right click and say eject, or you can click this little triangle with a line to make sure you're safe to removing this from your computer. Now the laser cutter on, it's gonna start initializing up our machine. And once we see this screen, our machine is initialized and we're ready to get started on the computer. So the first thing I've done is I've gone ahead and turn on my laser cutter. Once my laser cutter is on, then I can go ahead and open up Illustrator. For whatever reason, if you open up Illustrator first, then turn on your laser cutter, the Illustrator will not actually recognize your printer. So we gotta do it this way. Now I can come up Illustrator, select File, Open. Find the file that I want to open up from my drive. And then I come up and go File, Print. I'm going to go ahead and turn off auto rotate and ensure that the printer is the C182 or 183, depending on which machine you're using. Go ahead and select setup. Make sure I select the correct C182 again, select preferences. And here's where you need to select the correct print profile. What a print profile does is it sets your pen tool correctly. So laser cutter will work off of three variables. The power you send to the 40 watt tube, the speed you send in millimeters per second, and the PPI or pulses per inch. And depending on the material you're using, you have different settings for different things. So if I come over here to pen and I were to double click on plywood, 
You'll notice that it jumped plywood to the top of the list. You'll notice that my pen settings have changed. Uh, black is now a speed of 78, power 38, PPI of 1000, and speed of 1 1.8, 85, and 1000 through red and respect. This is why you have to set it up those exact color tones in your other Illustrator file, because the laser cutter looks for these specific colors and says, if the object is these colors, then it will choose those specific settings. So sometimes what I like to do is I'll double click on one, even if it's the one that I don't want. And then I'll double click on the one that I do want to make sure it jumps up top of the list uh, because sometimes double clicking on it can get a little bit more chat. I'll select OK. I'll select Print. And now you'll notice that I need to center where my piece is going to be. Now, typically, I recommend giving yourself a little bit of access here. So you can go ahead and choose this placement just to put it up in the top left-hand corner. If you've already added padding around your design, this should be fine. If you don't have padding around your design, adding in a comma, comma five, comma five padding, oops, should be enough that you get just enough distance. But sometimes you might be working with stock like this, where I have pieces already in the top. So what I need to do is I need to measure down from my top Y coordinate is. For this one, I've already measured is about four centimeters. So I can set my Y value to four. And you notice that my design automatically jumps down four, so that instead of starting to cut up here, it's going to start cutting down here. So at this point, I can select print. And this sends it over the laser cutter. Sure. Go ahead and open up our door. We're going to make sure my environment's nice and clean here. There's nothing on the board. I'm going to go ahead and place this piece down. And up here, I'm going to make sure that I'm nice and centered up in the top corner. Now, lasers work on a proper focal length here, so I'm going to make sure that I autofocus my laser head here. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this into about the center of my piece, and I'm looking for this brass probe to be over top of my piece, not over top of the honeycomb bed itself. I'm going to cover the machine now. And you notice that right now it says the machine is stuck initializes. So I'm going to push any button. Come over here, I'm going to push autofocus. And when I do push autofocus, you're going to notice it's going to come down, press that bra brass probe to the end, and then lift itself back up. Once it's done there, we can see that the machine is done. We can go ahead and press F1 here to choose back. And now we're going to go ahead and find our correct file. So we'll go ahead and bring our lid back down. And we'll find our correct file name. In this case, it's the Dutchman logo is the one that I want. So I'm going to go ahead and press start at this point. Once the piece is done, I'm going to wait a few seconds before I take the other machines and make sure I clear what it is. So I hope you found that tutorial on how to use laser cutters helpful and best of luck on your next robotics project.